Cause it's time to talk about games. Viva Las Vegas. All right, today we're talking about the game Las Vegas. And love this game, love it. Can you hear all that dice rattling fun? Okay, so this video is in pew, pew, two parts. Okay, so first, I'm gonna talk about the base game. Then I'm going to talk about some modifications I did to brucify this game. So I wanna share that with you. That will be in the second part of the video. Check below for the timestamp. All right, so let's get into this. So first, let's talk about a little bit of a history of the game. So this game is made by Ravensburger, or published by and it was it is a two to five player game and there was an expansion that came out for it called las vegas boulevard but i think it's out of print i'd like to get my hands on it someday but in the meantime part two we'll talk a little bit about incorporating it there also is this game is in different size boxes sometimes it's in a cube there's also a re-implementation of this game to not to confuse you any further called I think it's called Las Vegas Royal, Royal or Royale. And um, it's this new game. It's still two to five players, but they've added new components. Someday I'll get that and I'll review it. But in the meantime, I'm just reviewing the base game with my mods. Well, first without my mods. So this is Las Vegas. So what's inside the box? Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so we got a nice rule book. It's very easy love small easy rule books it means it's a simple game ah, look at that i shook it up and all the little stuff came out all right let's do this right let's let's open it as if uh let's pretend i didn't shake the box there you go so you've got five different dice colors you got the red green blue black and white let's set these to the side Yay. We've got six casinos. We've got a current player marker. I'm gonna set that aside. And then we got money. Gotta have some money, baby. Because I mean, what's the point, right? To go to Vegas to win some money? All right, so 20,000, 80,000, 90,000, 30,000, 20,000. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Yay, money, money. Okay, so. How do I get my hands on this money? Well, you gotta, just like a good trip to Vegas, you gotta go to the casino. So there are six casinos in the game and they each have a little die on them. So casino one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this makes sense because on each die you have six sides. So when you roll a die, you're gonna put a die on the casino. So. Also, before I go any further, I got to say, I like the names of these. So this one is the uh, gold mine. So it's, it's not the golden nugget. It's the gold mine. This one is the Bajazo. It's not the Palazzo or Bellagio. The Miracle, right? It's not the Mirage. So <laughs> I love how they give a nod to the casinos. So super fun. So everybody's going to pick a color. And uh, let's say you got the green player over here. Yay. And you got red player over here. All right. So you're going to get eight dice per player. So you pick a player color and you get all eight dice of your color. So let's just show it with uh, these three here. Let's ignore these other color dice. Put them out of frame. Okay. So player green is going to take their turn and they're going to go like this. They're going to drop one on the floor. Just kidding. They're going to uh, take all their die and roll all of them. Okay, and then I just bumped one, but pretend I didn't do that. Actually, first, we're going to set money at the casinos. And uh, because, I mean, why even go to this casino unless they have money? So in the base game, you, have a, you pull out money, random off the top, and there has to be at least 50000 So here there's 20000 so the next bill is seventy. So now we have at least $50,000. Here's 50000 so we stop. Here's 70,000, so we stop. Here's 40,000, it didn't hit our minimum, so we add another 40. Here's 30, it didn't have 50,000, so we add another bill, and here's 70,000. So there's all the money distributed for, for the casinos. Now what I like to do is I put the 
largest bill toward the casino. All right, so here's just one bill. Now, once sometimes, uh, very rare, but sometimes you can get three bills at the casino. Now, here's the here's the rule of play before we start distributing the dice. I'm cramming all this onto one screen, so I know this looks all jammed up. But normally we'd have a bigger table, it'll all be laid out, it'd be easier to see. So the object of the game is to put more dice on each casino to claim those bills. So if I have the most number of dice at that casino when everybody's placed all of their dice, then I get to uh, the end of round is triggered and we get to divvy up all the bills that are uh, available. But there's a special rule. You can only win once at each casino. So um, first of all, the only die that can go on that casino matches what's on here. So like this is die number one, there's a one symbol, means that only symbols, only die that have the number one value can go over here on there. The other die would have to go on the other appropriate uh, casinos. So at the end of the round, if this player, green, has the most number of die, they get to take the most valuable um, bill, which is 70,000 here. They don't get the second one because you can only win once at the casino. So I always explain it to this way. It's, it's a little bit thematic. Okay. So if, uh, if you're a red hot player, um, at say blackjack in real life at the casino, I mean, I know this isn't really talked about a lot, but sometimes if you're red hot, they'll ask you to play a different game. So the casino doesn't want to lose all their money. I mean, come on, you know, this, I'm not telling anything. I'm not telling you any industry secrets here that you don't know. But you can win at several casinos. So let's just go over. Here's the fours. Let's say they have two die here, and it's the end of the round. So they they've got the most number of die here. This guy, someone has a one here, and someone has a, a four here to compete. Okay, so green can win the top bill here, and green can also win. In this case, one of these two, 40,000, depending on what they have. So you can win first place or second place at each casino, but you cannot win more than one bill at the same casino. Casinos are like that, okay? These darn pit bosses. You know, you know. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm gonna fast forward and talk about, no, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna talk about how you take a turn. And then I'm gonna talk to you about uh, in game and the unique mechanic in this game that makes it fun. So at the beginning someone rolls all their dice Yay, and what I like to do is have them set the die near the corresponding casino. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now and Then I'll recap. So in this case The person rolled three ones which could go here four three fours which could go here and two sixes All right, so their only option is to place die here here or here now the rule in this game is that you can't break up sets. So like this is considered a set or a grouping. So what you have to do on your turn is take all four of your, all three of your die and put them on and then get, get your other die back for another turn and re-roll them on when it's your turn next. Or in this case, you place all your ones or in this case, you place all your sixes. What you cannot do is place one of the sixes and hold one back. You can't do that. Or you can't say, well, I'm going to place a six and a four. You can't do that. So you're stuck with putting all your groups out. Now, in this case, let's just see what I would do if this was my turn. This is 70,000. Ooh, that's juicy. And this is a 20,000. These are two 40,000. So what I would, I wouldn't place these. Here's two sixes for 70,000. Mm. I would either do one of two things. I would place the sixes, which would pretty much go for a high bill here. And make it hard for somebody else to win that because remember the most dice at the end when everybody's placed all their dice gets to claim that bill or what i might do is put these in fact let's do that so this player chooses to put three ones on the one casino and pull back all the rest of their die and the reason that's an okay move i mean this isn't a bad one either but this one they're they have the most dice to win seventy thousand, and just in case they get moved to second place they can get there's something there for a second place so then they take all their die back and then on another turn they would re-roll but now it's the next player's turn so let's say it's red red's turn so they roll all their dice i'm going to stick them in camera frame let's put the sixes near there put these near there blah 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 okay so here are the choices 
or the red player. They've got one die they could put there, two die there, two here, one there, or two here. So what would they do? Ah, you know what? Let's do this. No, let's do this just to be fun, just to be different. They put two die, they put their threes on the three casino, and then they take all their dice back. Okay, and so on and so forth until everybody takes a turn. Blue would take their turn. Let's just let's just simulate it here. Let's just put a five there. They did that. Now it's green's turn again. We're doing a three-player game here. Now green would roll their dice and place accordingly until everyone is out of dice. All right, that's how a round is played. Now, what's really interesting is how there's no ties in this game. I'm going to show you a mechanic. I'm going to kind of fast forward into the middle or near the end of a game. So end of an end of a round. So let's say green placed their three die here and red's got two. Whoops, they need a one there. These are all ones because only ones can go on this casino and blue has one there. So if the round were to end just like this, this is pretty simple. Green has the most number of die at this casino, so they win the top bill, which is 70,000. Red is in second place, and so they win the 20,000. Blue is in third place, and so they win nothing. They go home crying, and um, they, uh, I don't know, they, they lament their gambling woes. I don't know what they do. Hopefully they won at another casino. But let's say, let's, let's rewind just a little bit. Let's say it's right before the end of the round, almost right before the end of the round, and Actually, blue has one more dice, which they roll it, okay? Now, this is a little bit of a danger. If you only leave yourself with one die at the end, then you're stuck with whatever the roll is, which means you're, 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 um, you're stuck with a lucky situation. So that generally you don't want to stick yourself with one die at the end if you can help it. But <clears throat> let's say they did, they had no choice. And right before the round ended, boop, they stuck a one on there. Maybe they had no choice. Well, now this changes things, okay? So this player is clearly in first place. Now the round ends at this point, and blue and red are tied. So what happens is, um, I like to say thematically, if you're tied, you got into a brawl, and you're kicked out of the casino. So both these players, since they're tied, are kicked out of the casino. So now the round looks like this. Green has the top bill and no one gets second place. Boo, no one gets second place. So all because blue slipped in that last die at the, at the last minute. So let's, let's actually rewind again and do a second scenario. So let's say blue didn't do that. It was gonna end like this. You have green has three, red has two, and white, I'm sorry, blue has one die, okay? Now, Lo and behold, it's right before the end of the round and red has one die. They roll it and it's a, it's, it goes on this casino. It's a one. And now the round ends like this. Well, now here's what happens. Okay. Remember before that blue green was in first place. Red was in second place and blue was in third place. Well, since let, since red put that die on right before the round ended, that changes everything. So green and red are now tied. They get into a, so now the round ends. Nobody has any more dice. The round ends. They're kicked out of the casino for brawling. And uh, lo and behold, blue is the only person left at that casino. That means blue gets first place. No one gets second place. And all these other die players, red and green, are crying because they were in contention to win, didn't win at the last second. So this game is really fun because of that mechanic where there's no ties allowed. And what, what's really fun is, is as you have a whole bunch of dice on there and people go to place their die, there's a lot of, there's a lot of oohs and ahs because people will say, ooh, are you gonna challenge that person who's close to winning that die? Or maybe you wanna go for second place. Uh, I don't know, it's just super fun. This, this game's a lot of fun. So there's the game, Las Vegas. Now, um, you, after the round is over, you divvy up all these bills, the bills that were that were not taken. Let's just say there was a few. They're thrown in, I don't know, the house gets them back, right? Everybody keeps their money secret on the backside, and you start a new round. So that's the game, Las Vegas. It's a very fun game. Now, bum, ba -da -bum, I'm going to show you my modification. Let's go to the intro. This is the game. All right, 
so now we are going to talk about how I brucified this game. So first thing is I added a lot more dice. Okay. So this is kind of a nod to the expansion, which is called Las Vegas Boulevard, which I can't get my hands on. And, uh, now I've got a lot of dice. So now I can play with eight players, just like the expansion does. What I found is this game is really a party game. I know the box says two to five players. I would never play this at two players. And it's a lot fun. It's a lot of fun playing it at five, six, seven players, eight players. I can play with eight players. I got eight die. Um, actually, I think I got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine sets of die. And I only play with eight, though, because these die are special die. So the, the first thing I did is I, I couldn't, not being able to get that expansion, I had to buy more die that match the, the uh, what do you call it, the, the size. These are 14 millimeter die. They're not easy to find. Most die are too big. They're 16 millimeter or they're smaller. So this was hard to find and to find in the colors I wanted. So that was the first modification I made. Um, second is the number of rounds. Okay, so when I play with a high player count, five or more players, I only play two rounds because it's, it's just a lot of fun. I suppose if I'm playing with three or four people, I would play three rounds. And if, it, if, if I was stuck in a situation where I had to play two player game, I would probably play three rounds. I don't think a game should overstay its welcome. You're doing mostly the same thing every round and short and sweet is what I've turned this game into kind of a party game. So I've added more dice. Boom. There's the first brucification. Um, and the second thing I've done is I've added these player, I don't know what you call them, player pads, right? So we've got Celine, Celine Dion, Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr., the candy man can, okay, Marilyn, okay, Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra, we've got Tipsy Dean Martin, we've got Jerry Lewis, Siegfried and Roy, I like your tiger, all right? And, uh, oh, this is my favorite. Come on, here we go. Wait, wait, I got to do something first. I have to put these uh, on. Hold on, let's get out of frame for a second. Yeah, baby, it's Elvis. Come on, give me some fried chicken and butter. All right, so if I'm playing, by the way, I really do like playing with Elvis. I mean, Elvis is my favorite. He's the king, right? So why these player pads? Well, what it does is if you've placed all your die, so let's say you're Elvis and you're the red, or let's say you're Dean Martin and you're the, uh, you got the blue, blue die. If you've placed all your die, okay. Sometimes I had one time where I couldn't remember what player, I, um, what, uh, what color I was. So this reminds you of your color. Also actually better than that. Even if you remember your color, you're remembering other people's colors. So you're going to see a lot of, die up there just mix all this in there like this and uh you're not going to be able to easily remember who's what you see all these colors right so when you look around the table and you see the person sitting in front of celine celine then you know that they're the purple player and such so it's a way to quickly identify who's who in the game and plus it adds flavor i mean i really like having these uh these uh characters so it'd be like this let's see it's a lot a lot of a uh, lot of action so this is fun this is my uh, one of my modifications and I love bringing that out another modification in this one these two came from the expansion there I just printed them from the Las Vegas Boulevard all right this one is called let's do this one first this one's called the slot machine it acts like a seventh casino and I printed the rules online so you can see that yeah. Okay. So here's the rules. It's, um, I'm not going to go into it, but it's, it's a little bit complex with the rules. And the way I like to do it is I, because I play in two rounds, the first round I play without it, I play with the regular six casinos. And then for round two, I add this in there. And the reason I do that is so that each round is not, you know, too samey. That's what I don't like about games when, when you, when the first round is exactly like the second round. Uh, even if players have played this before with me, 
Um, it's a seventh place to place your um, your die, but it adds a little twist. So the second round is not the same as the first. The other thing is the distribution list. They've changed this in Las Vegas Boulevard. Let's see if you can see this here. This is. Oh God, I can't. You can't even see this. <laughs> okay, like that. There we go. But but basically, if you're playing with different player counts, there's a it ups the minimum of cash per casino. So if you're only playing with a five player game, four player game, it's forty thousand. It's fifty thousand dollars. However, if you're playing seven player game, the minimum each casino has is eighty thousand. So just pull this off to here. You know, simulate that. So, twenty thousand. I'd keep going. Ninety thousand. We'd stop, right? So let's just do one. Another one's eighty thousand. Fifty. Keep going. Sixty. Keep going. Okay. So then we'd stop. And then I, I like to rearrange them so that the 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 big bills are are closest to the casino. Let's see, the casinos are down here. So sometimes you'll end up with like three different options. So you can have first, second, and third place. It's more fun. So, especially with a higher player count. So, adding this in there is, is a must for high player, player player count. So, what else did I add? Oh, I made a tuck box for the cards. Yay. And I replaced the first player marker that comes with the game, which is this guy, with a, a nice casino chip. I mean, why not, right? And then I think I have a pair of dice sitting around the casino. Yay. So I've done those, those, those are my main modifications. Um, the other thing that I did, which is a little bit, uh, it's fun, is, var is variable player powers. So these, these things I give to players, if there's enough to go around, I'll give them two, they choose one. And you can only use them once per round, so they're not that powerful, but they do add some flavor here. So like this one's called Mind Games. This one says the ability, force another player to either skip a turn or go twice. And it tells you the time and when you can enact that. So once you've used this, you flip it over, it's out of the round, it's out of the game, uh, yeah, it's out until the round's over. When round two starts, it refreshes and now you can use it again. So you only use these twice in the game, but they're fun. So I've got Lucky Sevens, Club Bouncer, High Roller, Pit Boss, The Cheat, force someone to re-roll one of their die before they place it. So that's fun. But once you use it, it's flipped over. Next round, you get it back. Snake Eyes, Stingy Gambler, Casino Director. So these are fun. They're, they just add a little bit of uh, pizzazz to the game. You can have these uh, with the game. So here, let's review. Total modifications. These things, which are um, player powers and stuff from the expansion, way more dice, a lot of dice. Um, I also, there's, there's, in that Las Vegas Boulevard expansion, you can use purple dice as a kicker, which I actually use those funny colored dice, these things which are translucent. And uh, you can use the, the white die, I didn't even go into that, as a neutral character. Anyway, so the, the dice modification, the uh, first player marker, the slot machine, and uh, what else? I'm missing something. The player distribution. Oh, and my favorite modification of all, the one that gives the most flavor, these things, the, the characters. Love it. This game is super fun. I mean, I'm not going to play this game. I'll be honest. I'm not going to play my, this game without these modifications. If I leave this game at home, I'm not going to pick up another copy off the shelf. I'm playing this game. I like it that much. To me, it's a party game. The shorter rounds make it more fun. This is Las Vegas, the game. Tell me what you guys think about uh, your game. And uh, also, if I should even bother getting the, the newest game, because Las Vegas Royale, which has even more components, tell me. Tell me what you think about that. Um, that's all I got. I am uh, Bruce. And if you like this video, of course, like it and subscribe it. I've got a awesome chocolate cake in the fridge and I am not allowed to eat that cake until you guys like and subscribe. I'm just saying, I want cake. I'm hungry. So come on guys, help me out. Help me out. If you hate this video, hit the subscribe button three times. All right. That's all I got. I am Bruce. I'm out and play 
more games. This game is now been crucified. It's been a crucified.